There was nothing old about the Golden Girl of Hollywood, who brought light and laughter to every radio speaker and television screen she graced. Raised through the Great Depression, the first woman to produce a sitcom in America, developed the drive and resilience actors need to break through to become classics, like Betty White. When she could not be a forest ranger, she turned to writing and acting. And when movie studios shut the door on the apparently not photogenic model, she became one of the biggest personalities in radio. In fact, it was her personality that led to the development of The Betty White Show, and eventually to breaking through to TV as a host on Hollywood on television. Performing sketches. I've looked all over and I can't find the powder room. Oh, no wonder you've been looking in the house. Oh, never mind. <laughs> singing. Time to say hello again. And ad-libbing through live broadcasts five days a week, appearing more and more in commercials, and as a frequent guest on The Hollywood Squares. Password. To tell the truth, and the $25,000 pyramid. The first lady of game shows won audiences over starring in the sitcom she produced, Life with Elizabeth. She went from television pioneer to fan favorite on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. <laughs> and emerged an adored classic as Rose Nyland on the mega hit, The Golden Girls. He made me feel beautiful. He made me feel young. He made me feel smart. <laughs> Good, what an actor. An iconic character that shined for seven seasons. A spin-off. And even appearances on other TV shows. Her fame revitalized with roles on Boston Legal, the Proposal, and hosting a hugely successful episode of Saturday Night Live. Through all her work, Betty White demonstrated unabashed authenticity, embracing her gender, her looks, and her age to consistently show the world something unexpectedly fun and unquestionably unique.